My name is Emma Wilcox, and I live off of Arnett in Genesee. I like that particular store because I'm cool with the people in there. Like they, they see a lot of the people coming in from the community, and they pretty much know us, and they talk to us, they joke with us. I like to go to Teen Empowerment. Obviously, I, I love that place. Teen Empowerment was the first job that I ever had that I had, and it was okay for me to be me and to speak about the things that I care about and to enlighten other people about how my life goes and how life is in my community, as well as hear about other people's experiences. It's time for change. No more violence, let's change the game. What time is it? It's time for change. Before I went to Teen Empowerment, I, I used to get normal minimum wage jobs or above minimum wage jobs, but they were just labor. I was getting paid to labor and go home. And going to Teen Empowerment, I didn't just labor and go home. I got paid to attain knowledge about my community and my society. And I was able to reflect and just bring that out to a lot of people through that job. I feel like the organization actually makes this neighborhood get involved. One thing adults do a lot is talk around things or they keep restating a problem. The youth really do have solutions and a lot of people just, they count them out. But one thing I can say about teen empowerment is that they actually reach out to the youth. I like making music, I like recording music, I like performing on stage. Our city is in pain. I feel like Rochester is hurting. I feel like as a result of this pain, a lot of people are hurting. A lot of people are going through so much stuff and it's harder and harder to get by. That's what's bringing up the violence and stuff like that as well. Because when you feel like no one cares, you begin to not care. And then the less you care, the less you're gonna think about the things you have to lose because you feel like you have nothing already. The people around these neighborhoods I look at them as survivors because a lot of things go on in these neighborhoods. A lot of us, we just make enough to get by. These are people just like me. We all cry, we laugh, bleed the same.